Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy, your independent scentsy consultant with Happily Scented Homes. And I'm back today to share with you guys what I'm going to be warming or trying to go through for my October melting basket. So I'll get right into it. Um, if you didn't check out my um, September melting basket video, um, you could definitely check it out. Um, I've decided to kind of do a twist. I was inspired by Dazzling Scents with Chris to kind of just randomly pick what wax bars from my stash that I want to warm for the month, have them easily readily available in a basket so I can just grab and go, change out the wax, no hesitation, no thought process, and then it gives me um, accountability to actually use my wax and go through it. So from last month I do have a couple that I didn't finish or I didn't get to so those are going to carry over to October and one of those was inner peace um I only got through half the clam so we're going to go through that um apple cherry strudel I did not get a chance to warm so I'm going to try to get to that again um I don't know why I didn't grab this because I always warm it every fall I think I just I don't know but it's going to be like one of the first ones I grab on one of my remote days working from home so I can enjoy it. So, And then I never got a chance to warm brownie batter last month, um, so I'm going to try to do that. And then I did get through two cubes of the cozy chai, so I'm going to try to finish that up. Okay, so that's what carried over from last month's melting basket that I didn't get a chance to finish. And then I'm going to try to make a conscientious, I can never talk effort <laughs> to go through what I have left of my harvest and my 10 new release bars for the fall and winter catalog. Um, so I am going to try to get through fall into love, um, Dutch apple bread. I only have a little bit left of that forever fall. I only have like half of a cube white pumpkin and driftwood. I've got a little bit of that left. Um, I don't have any cashmere leaves in here. I did already finish that bar, um, so I don't have to actually warm that. But I do have some cubes of the Delightfully Freightful. I just want to kind of go through them and warm them again, what I have left, so that way I can make decisions before the collection closes out. Um, it is still going to be available in October, um, but there are some bars that are already out of stock for individual purchase, but you can still club them and receive them. So, And then I do have two cubes left of the Frosted Cinnamon Roll, which is the scent of the month for September, which you can still get at 10% off for the next couple of days. And then for the new releases, I do have Midnight Mahogany, a couple cubes left of that. Um, Make Me Snickerdoodle, I've got a couple cubes of that. Palo Santo and Cinnamon, I've got that much left. Red Current Reef, I only have one cube, so I'll probably go in a bathroom. Um, Frosty Air, I absolutely love this one, I just want to finish it up. Dashing, I kind of made a dent in that. And then um, Frosted Theater. So I am going to go ahead and get through those clamshells just so that they're out of this box. And I can make final decisions on them. Um, see if I want to repurchase them or club them or what have you. All right. So that's that. And then what I... Um, don't mind that trash bag. I was going through stuff. Um what I pulled out of my stash. Okay. So I pulled out a bar of Southern Evening. So we are going to go ahead. You can see like it is getting juicy. So we're going to go through that. Um, Persian Lime and Sandalwood. I am going to go ahead and warm this one um, just because this was my oldest bar and it's getting pretty sweaty. So I'm going to enjoy that. Um, inhale, exhale. I'm still getting through my stash of this, and this one's getting discolored and juicy. Pineapple Rose. I chose this one. I love Pineapple Rose. Mm, so good. Um, so those, and then this one, yeah, this one. Uh, hey Tiger Lily. Another one that is getting juicy. So those are like my bathroom 
like bedroom scents that I'm going to try to get through. And then what I picked for fall scents to go for the rest of the month. Um, I have half of the clam of the Accidentally in Love. Picked that up in a flash sale, so I'm going to try to go through that. Butter pecan. Absolutely love butter pecan. So I'm going to try to warm this one. Huckleberry apple pie. I'm actually going to try this one. I never warmed it. I have smelt it before. Um, but I'm actually going to try to warm it. I don't typically like huckleberry scents. The only huckleberry scent I like is huckleberry hideaway. And I think that has more like honeysuckle and violet. And that's why I like it. Um, but I'm going to try that one just because baked apple pie by Scentsy is just too strong for me in like the cinnamon spice like category. It, it's just too much. Um, but I think this might be a mellow version of it. So we're going to try it. Um, oh, I did pull out my last bar of frosted cinnamon roll. I'm going to warm this again, um, along with the other two cubes that I have left because I just want to make a decision. Harvest Blessings. I got that in that that fall 10 pack bundle. Um, so I pulled a lot of the bars that were in that. Um, perfect pumpkin pear. Um, I did go back and watch videos. It's very pairy pumpkin that I do not like. And I get that like fermented rotten fruit note from the pear. Perfect pumpkin pear. It doesn't give me that. So I'm thinking that this pear might be that anjo anju pear or whatever. Um, but I'm going to try that and see if I like it. Coconut pumpkin pie. That was also in that 10 pack, um, fall bundle from like July, I think. Um, autumn stroll. I'm going to try that one. Porch pumpkin. I don't remember if I like porch pumpkin or not, but we'll try that. And last but not least, I have to go to my mom's and grab a bar of gimme candy. I thought I had some in my stash. I don't have any gimme candy. So for Halloween, I want to like probably that weekend and in sell it because I think it falls on a Tuesday this year. So probably like that Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I want to warm ghostly greetings and gimme candy and alternating warmers. So I do have ghostly greetings in my stash, but I don't have any gimme candy. So I'm probably going to have to swap a bar. Um, with my mom so that way I have gimme candy so I can do that but that's what I chose for my melting basket it's pretty short and sweet um, I'm just gonna try to get through a lot of the um, clams that I only have like you know half of them left um, like I said from the harvest collection and the 10 new releases so I can make decisions on those bars so I hope you guys like this video um do you guys plan on doing the normal uh, monthly challenge that Patricia Gates uh, puts out or are you guys going to do something different like me what do you guys typically warm in October I like to know um, I try to stick to more, more of my like heavy bakery in October just because in Maine it gets cold like really quick but this so far we've had a pretty mild fall so far um, but that's it and the kittens are like climbing all over me that's one of my daughter's new kittens that's this is Luna um, we found her and her brother on the side of the road. Unfortunately, um, their mother was hit by a, a vehicle and they were just on the side of the road. Um, we think that we, we think they were the neighbor's barn cats. And then this is the other one. This is his, um, the brother. His name's Beast. Um, originally I thought it was a girl. So I had named him Duchess <laughs> and then, um, come to find out he was actually a boy. So we changed his name to Beast because, my daughter kept going back and forth between Luna and Belle for the gray cat's name. So then when she was in her Belle phase, I named that other one Beast to kind of go with our Disney theme. And then she went back to Luna. So, and no, she didn't name it Luna because of Sensi. Um, she's really into like anime and Sailor Moon and all that other stuff. So that's why she picked it. Um, but all right. So I hope you guys like this video. Um, I will tune back in towards the end of the month to show you guys what I went through, what was, what I was able to empty out. Um, but as always till next time, see you guys.